So a recent study has been released that basically brings light to the fact that Ironically, more people on this planet suffer from obesity than from starvation by a magnitude of about 400,000. Um, excuse me, 400 million. That's uh, missing three zeros there. So basically, why does this matter? Uh, well, the, the, the ironic thing about this is that uh, what I want to talk about in this video is why it doesn't matter. Now, here's the thing. Uh, whenever you get down to uh, what is more profitable versus what is not profitable, you have to understand that obesity is a very profitable business. You're talking about the actual food industry itself benefiting benefiting from this. I mean, everything from fast food to takeout to, of course, high-class restaurants and even, of course, that frozen shit that you like to buy at Walgreens, Walmart, Albertsons, etc. <laughs> Here's the thing. Not only is the food industry a multi-billion dollar a year industry that is predicated on making you addicted to food so that you can enjoy it and there go buy more, but you have to understand the health detriment that this also causes too. Basically, when you get sick from food poisoning or when you get salmonella or when you get too fat or when you, of course, die, you support a plethora of many different also multi-million or multi-billion dollar industries that kind of rely on you being a fat fuck. I mean, you're talking about the mortuary industry. You're talking about uh, pills to make sure, like heart medication, to make sure that your cholesterol levels are balanced. You're even talking about nutritions and dietitians and personal exercise experts and even doctors themselves. Too much is riding on you being an unhealthy piece of shit. And who suffers from this? Well, you, but more importantly, the people who starve. 1.4 billion people every single year have to live with the fact that they're a fat fuck. 900 million people every single year have to starve. When you consider how powerful that understanding is on this planet, you, you, you must understand that those 900 million people will not be saved in this system. This system, Axel, what do you mean? Of course I mean the monetary system. I mean the political systems. I mean factions of various states and statehoods fighting over control and power through bureaucracy, war, or economy. You're even having entire governments, local or city, being funded, of course countries, being funded by very powerful and affluent corporations to ensure that their resources are extracted to the extreme. What does this do to the local populations? Doesn't matter because it doesn't affect the bottom line in a negative way of the corporate, excuse me, of the corporation. And of course, I don't need to really bring up examples for you here. They're clear. I mean, yeah. Now, my main point about this isn't necessarily who's doing it, but rather the bigger picture of what's being done here. Because here's the thing, you can have every single person in the industrialized, modern, first Western world understanding that, yes, more people die from being fat than, of course, live with being starved, but it's not going to change anything. This was a very interesting dilemma that I believe a lot of people, whenever you get them in a big group, has, is that they have a very, uh, it seems, especially in our country, in the United States, a very low understanding or rather low empathy of other individuals that suffer compared to our, our suffering. Or you, of course, have a misguided attempt to eradicate said problem. Now, of course, donations are very much welcome and very appreciated. And I know that not every person in the United States is a schmuck. I get that. But you also have to understand as well that... Back to the original point here, if everyone knew, it wouldn't change anything. I mean, you would still have politicians who don't give a fuck about the starving Africans or the starving Indians or the starving people in their own goddamn district. And then you even have the people who are very complacent with their own way of life and have accepted that the 9 to 5 is the way to live and it's too much work and brain power dedicated to worrying about the other citizens of the planet. I mean, here's the thing. I know it's kind of a sad story, but you have to make light of it because nothing will change. You're going to have to see an entire crumbling of the system at large in order for there to be any sort of change that could be mounted toward any sort of effort. I mean, any effort that's put toward any change 
on a large scale is typically wasted. You're talking about too many parties that are invested in the starvation of populations to extract resources. You're talking about way too many people who are invested in the unhealthy population that they serve. I mean, after all, medications alone is a billion dollar a year industry and you think that the food companies are going to want you to buy less of their shit? I mean, come on, if you take all of the addictive qualities out of all of this food, yeah, it might make it a little bit more expensive. And yeah, people might be a little bit healthier and ergo, uh, ergo a little bit more confident into doing things with their lives other than eating and watching TV, hopefully. But that doesn't really help the bottom line, ergo it doesn't really help the economy. That means you're a communist bastard. I know it's kind of weird that the minority opinion is, yeah, we should help the 900 million starving people every year by, at the very least, donating all of the wasted food we have to them, at least to some degree. But no, I mean, you have to consider the costs, and you have to consider the, uh, of course, political affiliations of who you're going to be donating to and who's going to be doling out this food. I mean, yeah, you might get everything right on our end here, but on their end, with whatever nation that they have going, is it really a guarantee that the leaders aren't going to just keep all the donations to themselves? And even if you do have all those problems totally eradicated, then what the fuck are we even doing with, like, buying food? Why isn't it a right at this point? I mean, if you need a right to life, wouldn't you at the very least need the most basic right of it all? Now, obviously, I understand that the, my ideas of where society should be differ from the majority of the population on the planet. And I know that a lot of my viewers typically disagree with it as well which I don't really understand, but feel free to comment and enlighten me. But the thing is, is that you need to understand this main point, the true main point, is that the current system is harming almost half of the population of the planet, sorry, a third of the population of the planet here, for profit. Now, if you want to talk about economy, reducing waste, ensuring that Systems are efficient, and people are happy, and safe, and secure, and living at the very least a decent quality of life. Wouldn't you think that the powers that be that do indeed control the market, not like reptilians, but like businesses, and people with purchasing power, don't you think they would be inclined to help out their fellow man? Well... There's no gain in that. I mean, how much money are you going to make by feeding 900 million starving people? Yeah, you're going to empower them to be able to create their own economies and their own nations, but that doesn't make you money, now does it? Here's the thing, and it boils down to this simple fact. This shit doesn't work. And in order for humanity to prosper, we need to at the very least serve the basic needs of all people on the planet. And I really feel that making sure the food we eat is safe, let alone there's food to eat, is an important factor in that. And I know that as an American, it's very easy to forget about how important and integral food is in your life and how easy it is to lose it. I also understand that I'm very privileged to, to be able to even record this video, tell you about my ideas and eat, you know, make this video after eating a meal myself. There are people on this planet that are suffering way more than any suffering I can imagine, who don't have that basic right, who don't have that basic privilege. So, I suppose on that note, I will end the video. I really do appreciate you watching up until this point. If you like it, by all means, like it. If you dislike it, please do so. And of course, if you want to comment, I implore it. And as always, this is the Axel Snacks. Peace.